So branding, first of all, is the promotion of a particular product or company by means of advertising and distinctive design. Which company do you think of when you see this image? McDonald's, right? It is so distinctive. Anywhere you go in the world, you will see that arches and you know that you are going to have a certain type of burger. What does this tell you? So most of you recognize this as Nike's. What about this? Also not a visual element, but a brand item. Where leaders are made. Yes, that is Toastmasters. So these are some of the visual elements of phrases that uh, organizations use to communicate. It doesn't have to be logo. It doesn't have to be a particular image. Even words can be used as brand elements. Now, in Toastmasters, what are the brand elements that we have? There are not too many, by the way. Our branding is very simple in Toastmasters. We have only four elements in the brand, which is the logo, the colors, the fonts, and the images. And combining them together is what creates the brand message. So let's talk about the logo. But one of the things that we always seem to miss is how we should use the logo. And I have picked up these two items from the brand manual that we always struggle. The clear space. How much space should be there around the logo? And then secondly, how big or small should be the logo? If you see the space that is drawn as a square, that much space is required to make the logo distinctive. And secondly, it should not be so small that it is not visible. And according to Toastmaster, the minimum size that you can place a logo on is 72 pixels. When it comes to the color schemes, these are the colors that we can use. There are only six colors. In fact, there are only four colors that we can think about. That is the cool gray, the true maroon, loyal blue, and happy yellow. So these are the brand colors. The black and white are not really brand colors. They are not mentioned anywhere in the manual. Do you know that? But still we use them, right? We use a white background. Sometimes we use black color to write the font color to be black. Why do we do that? Because these are considered as natural colors. So imagine that you were printing something as a PR material on a white paper. Right? You don't want to place the brand color on it because you will waste so much ink. So you can use that as a background because you are printing on a white paper. People used to complain to Toastmasters International. These are not enough. You know, I want more colors. I want to be more creative. The design team from branding at Toastmasters said, okay, we'll give you a choice. And we'll give you something called gradients. Gradient is basically a blend of two colors or three colors. That's what gradients are. When you're creating Toastmaster brand content, you can blend two colors. If you want to blend blue, they have given you two color codes, 004165 and 006094. These are the two colors you can blend and create a shape or a background of that gradient. So I cannot blend blue and deep maroon. If you can see the entire background of that poster is a blend of deep maroon and rich maroon. You have now little more flexibility in terms of uh, gradients. As we said, the next uh, brand element is fonts. Again, I'll use the PR tip from District 92 to demonstrate what are the fonts that we can use. Toastmasters has only two fonts, which is Gotham and Myriad Pro. So for us, they have given us alternatives. That is, if you are not able to use the Gotham font, use Montserrat. And if you are not able to use Myriad Pro, use Source Sans Pro. So if you are using Canva, then Montserrat and Source Sans Pro should be your default fonts. And how do we use these two fonts? Whenever you want to create a title, headings, for example, then you should use the Montserrat or Gotham, whichever is the font that you have access to. And for the body, the text that you're writing, always use Source Sans Pro if you're using Canva or Myriad Pro if you have access to it. Next one, of course, is the images that we talked about. So here, the challenge that we always face when we talk about images is what images should I use? 
whenever I see a poster that is not brand compliant, the first thing that comes to my mind is, is this VPPR trying to create a poster for a particular theme? And the moment his mind goes to say, I'm creating a poster for a meeting with a theme, invariably it ends up being kind of on the edge. Somebody says, let's celebrate monsoon and you'll find all rain and umbrellas in the poster. That is because we are trying to create a poster for a particular theme. Because what is it that we are trying to give to uh, people who are coming to our club as guests? What is the objective when they come for a meeting? There are only two things. The first thing they come for is what? Public speaking, right? So they're only coming for public speaking. Later on, they get roped into becoming a leader. That is a consequence of becoming a good public speaker. You automatically gain the skills to become a leader. So our message is to attract people should be on that, that they come because they know that they're coming for public speaking, right? So bring them with the message, come to become a good public speaker. So this is what I wanted to focus on in terms of uh, uh, this part of branding. You know, why branding is important. That is my message on branding. Let me now share my screen to show some of these concepts in Canva for the next uh, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm.